There we go. Hey, Michelle, how's it going? Good, Dylan. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> I love it. Welcome to Tea with D. I've got my water. <laughs> you too. So, um, Michelle, we are going to talk today about risk taking. Tell yeah. me, tell me where you used to be with risk taking. I used to be so risk averse. I was afraid to do anything. Um, I like lots of things. Didn't want to get hurt. Didn't want to make a mistake. Didn't want to appear like I wasn't perfect. Um, just so afraid to take any chance or any risk at all. Um, yeah, just basically out of fear. And I ended up doing nothing. <laughs> you know, I was just existing. And you know, didn't, didn't you find though, um, that like, I used to think that I was risk averse too, and that I was, but I always thought that I still was doing everything, but really I wasn't. Did you, do you know what I'm saying? Like no. you look back now and you're like, dang, I didn't do anything, but really in the moment did, weren't you, cause your paradigm comes in and is like, you're awesome. You're only doing this or saying this or not doing this or not saying this or not showing up here because of whatever. And we come up, did you ever come up with all the reasons? All kinds of excuses and reasons why. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. And, and you're right. At the time, I didn't even think about being risk averse. I didn't, I didn't even think about it. I'm just like, no, that's not really for me. Um, but you, you, I would go down a different avenue, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I would I would even think to myself, like I would have just all the excuses, right? And and even risks, whether it was like um, you know, a a movement within my job, like when I worked in corporate, or um if Dave and I would go on a a, a date night and say we went to the casino, right? And he would go. I'd go in with my $20 and be like, I'm just going to sit here. And I'm like, how cool am I that I'm like the cheapest entertainment ever, right? Um, cheapest and, date right here. <laughs> right, exactly. And he would be, um, okay, well, I'm going to go, you know, whatever. Like, and he would go, and sometimes we'd, but I had no interest in learning how to play the games, but he liked to play the different games. Right. And he had no, because he had no money blocks. <laughs> he was yeah. like, it's just money. We'll make more of it. Who cares? And I yeah. was like, I'm good. I've got my 20 bucks. And uh, I yeah. would, I'd, I'd go to the penny machines and just sit there until he was done playing whatever. And I used to just think, I don't, I'm not a risk taker. I'm not a risk taker. And I would watch Dave and his business. And then I would be over in my business, like holding everything tight. Well, because I used to think risk was something huge. Right. And it was like the risk of losing something that's, that's, I, I didn't understand uh what risk was same like you 20 bucks at the casino if once that was in the machine i'm just walking around people watching like that was that was it for me right <laughs> yeah and it's um it's interesting how that concept changes uh when you start studying you know material and learning more about yourself mm -hmm. for me it was when i started studying and i realized that everything around me is abundant, in abundance. And I, and risk started looking a lot different. It was <laughs> like, if, ev if there's like, if everything's energy and there's like your energy, I'm energy, money's energy, and there's an abundance of energy just flowing to and through everything, everyone, all things, and there's an abundance of it, then what's the risk? Yeah. Really, what's the risk? Who creates the risk? Is the risk created in the machine or is the risk created in my mind? Exactly. Like I'm the only one that creates the risk. The risk actually doesn't exist. The risk doesn't exist. 
Um, and when you put yourself in that perceived risk, there's so much more that can come back to you. Yeah. There's yep. so much more abundance that it becomes available to you. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Like even, um, like I think of the risk of, it's, it's that risk of loss, right? And when you flip it, there has to be an opposite. Again, learning more about the universal laws, you go, okay, well, is there, is it, if there's a risk of loss, then there has to be a risk of gain. Right. Mm -hmm. So, okay, well, which one am I going to focus on? And it's that whole, well, what if I fall? And it's like, well, but what if you fly? Exactly. Exactly. Right? Like what's the bigger risk? And then I started thinking to myself, okay, so I've lived the first however many years of my life in this state. So if I don't change, am I, everything's a risk if everything's a risk, if I'm going to look at it, if I'm choosing to look at it from that perspective, then I have to risk either staying the same or I have to risk becoming something bigger or different. Mm -hmm. And then it's like all the like little gremlins come in and go, you're not worthy. Who do you think you are? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think for me, that was the biggest shift was the risk of staying the same was so frightening to me yeah. that I had to take a risk to change, to start moving towards the person I wanted to become. That's right. And if that's, to me, that was one of my biggest risks that I've ever taken. Yeah. And I'm so happy that I did that. So happy that I did that. Cause it's just opened me up to so much more. Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine if, where, do, where do you think you would be right now? If you didn't shift your perception on risk? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm afraid to think where I would still be. I would be in, um, a home that I wasn't really wanted. I would be in a relationship that was um, toxic. Um, I would be sad mm -hmm. and lonely. And uh, yeah, that poor girl, she wasn't where she wanted to be at all, yeah. but knew there was more. I, and yeah. I would hate, and I would hate to be in that situation where, um, you know, being in a state of knowing that there's something else out there for me and yeah. not moving forward towards it. Right. Yep. Yeah. So when you, so now that you have moved, are in that state of moving forward, mm -hmm. It's like, what are your, do you get excited about risks now? I guess I should just. I, yeah, I, yeah, I do actually. Um, I have a little sticky note on my kitchen counter that says Michelle takes risks for her own happiness. And when I do, when I come up across something that like, ooh, this might be a little risky. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> That's awesome. So and what, what kind of things have shown up in your life since you started taking risks? Um, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> lots of things have happened to me. Um, I'm living in this great little farmhouse out here all by myself, learning more about myself. Um, actually I'm even further than that. I'm pretty much selling everything and moving into my camper and heading down south, at least for the winter. Not sure where the wind is going to blow me after that, but um, yeah, so I'm taking a huge risk there and uh, really looking forward to that adventure. Um, I've got myself back in the dating world, huge risk again. And, uh, you know, it's been kind of fun. So, yeah, lots of things going on. 
And what about your business? My business is growing. I'm really, I'm really focusing on um, a couple areas of my business. And yeah, there I'm taking risk as well. I'm putting myself out there. I'm letting people know what I'm up to. And, um, you know, really, really showing the world what I'm made of. So, Great. yeah. It's always that, um, those six basic fears that Napoleon Hill talks about in, in the, the chapter on the six ghosts of fears. And um, that fear of rejection is mm. such, such a big one. Um, and I know that's, it prevented me for many years on taking risks um, or thinking that risk were, risks were going to turn into something bad, right? Yeah. Um, and you think like, man, we spend our, our whole childhood um, being told, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful, mm. don't fall, right? And so, you know, it's like, and it's, and it's no blame. It just is right. But it's, it's, you become risk averse just because you're like, Oh, I gotta be careful. And if I'm not careful, will I be rejected? Will I be shunned? Will I, um, will something happen that like kills me or whatever? And that was a huge one for me too. The, the, that, that fear of rejection and what I'm learning uh, what I've learned is rejection isn't always a bad thing. No. Um, it's it, you can turn that into your advantage. You can turn that into something good because if, if you're being rejected, it's not meant for you anyway. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So within that same breath is the risk meant for you as well. Like, and again, that's another piece. Like for me, when I, when I really learned that things are happening for me, not to me, mm -hmm. it's like, even if it, if it does feel like, oh, like that fear comes in and the, the, the fear of rejection, that risk is coming in. It's like, well, what if we'd all just assumed, well, that's happening for me. Like I'm supposed to take this risk. Like it wouldn't have been put in my path if I wasn't meant to do something with it. And maybe it's for you to reject. Maybe that risk isn't for you. Right. But it's exactly. all a decision. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. So that lesson, that learning point is put in front of you to, are you going to risk it or are you going to reject it? Yep. Exactly. Because we always have that option. We yep. don't think that we do but we do. We always have that option. Mm -hmm. I love it. So good. Yeah. The biggest piece is really looking at is, is the risk of something staying the same greater than the risk of what's going to happen when it changes. Absolutely. Either way, you have to make a decision um, and either way, when you start shifting, the fear is going to sneak in and either way you get to decide what you're going to do with that too. Either way, yeah. Either way you're taking a risk. Yeah. Either way. Right. Uh, yeah, exactly. And you're right. Is it the, the risk of staying the same or the risk of, of growth and change and learning something new? That's right. And getting on purpose and getting on your path. Mm, right? Yeah. Like, I could, I, I honestly, I think of myself now and, um, Dylan with her goal achieved, she takes risks all the time. Right. And it's just like, if I'm making decisions from her, if I'm, if I'm intentionally making decisions from her, then I always just say to myself, then you better start taking risks. You better start doing it. You better start um, deciding on where you're going and take action from, from her. Mm -hmm. It feels, oh, you got to let go, right? But my paradigm wants control. She wants to hold on to things like so tight, 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 tight. Well, when you're tight like this, you can't accept anything and you can't give anything. So yeah. I used to be risk averse with my $20, but I felt in control. 
look at all these out of control people. Look at me control over with my $20. I'm in control. But I was just like, no wonder I never won at the casino. Like there was no energy flowing. I was just like, oh, mm -hmm. constantly. And for me, it was retreat. So I would retreat back into my shell because it was safe there. I didn't have to, I didn't have to deal with anything. I didn't have to um, risk anything. And uh, now it's like, no, I want to try it. I want to taste it all, right? I want to. That's what we're meant for. That's right. That we are here on this beautiful, gorgeous planet to, to try to try everything that she has to offer. Yep. There's so much um, that's out there for us to learn about and to to see. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah, I I don't see myself ever re retreating back into that shell. No, well, that's not where the goods are. No. All the goods happen on the other side of the fear. Yep, for sure. Right? That I'm either trying to control or you're trying to retreat from, right? Yeah. Good noticing. That's so cool. I love it. Well, thank you for like being, I love this conversation. Oh, oh me too. <laughs> so good. We, you never know what you're going to dive into. That is us on risk-taking. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you. Bye-bye.